Yo, what is good, my anime people? What is good? Honestly, man, Daikun is in a crazy situation. Not only do I have a good feeling that things are about to pop off much more crazier than we've already seen, but to think that the boss has actually given us a true reason why he could actually be beaten um, kind of has me interested in how much they're actually going to show of this because to be fair there's no real reason why this dude should go out of his way to fight not only a dragon knight but every single one of his friends who he has continuously seen grow throughout these times uh these fighters that he's so confidently like shrugging off at this point have made it abundantly clear that they're not to be trifled with like but at the same time in the eyes of these people they're all stronger than the royal guards they're all stronger than hara the or you know the demon who was fighting die in the first place with the father, he's stronger, or they are all stronger than that. So if that's the case, then they should have absolutely nothing to worry about, which is kind of the scary part and weird understanding I bet people want to know is why go through with this, you know what I mean? Like, why find yourself in a position now where if you lose you're pretty much just stuck uh, in the loss because of your stamina, because of the fighting you've already done. Um, you know, he clearly knows the people that have fallen and who haven't fallen. I mean, to be fair, a lot of villains be saying that stuff and they kind of don't be knowing what they're talking about sometimes. But this could be true and what i was expecting is the demon guy who got the black core ripped out of him to come back i feel like him dying in the explosion with the father is kind of lackluster only because they didn't even show you know him in the blast outside of it being in last week's episode when he was too close to the blast radius not to mention um the bomb wasn't necessarily meant to kill uh you know him it was more or less there for a fail safe if things were to go wrong now they have an easier way to take out their opponents which kind of gives me another feeling that if he is willing to put black cores into his own teammates what kind of steps is he willing to take to win a fight that, you know, I guess at this point, since he thinks he's the Omega, he really probably isn't thinking much on this fight, which I feel like it's another classic way of having these villains lose. And on the flip side, we could see... Um, these other two people who aren't the king jumping in and kind of disrespecting him in a sense right like imagine getting beat up so bad that your subordinates need to jump in and that's kind of where my brain starts to go when i see stuff like this because like i said there's a way that the boss needs to lose it's just unfortunate that cockiness is the thing that seemingly is going to beat him uh, worse than anything else, right? Because as we see it now, if he just took up, you know, all of these guys with as many fighters as they have, like he said, it would be a wrap. There's no way that they can win. Uh, the assassin guy alone could probably kill at least four of them. And the guy who just did his crazy transformation and detonated the black core would definitely destroy them if he were to show up. He even, sh like, kind of shook uh, the father who passed away in this episode, which was definitely one of the most uh, 
unpredicted thing I've seen in this show, because a lot of characters live, and you're telling me the first one to truly die is the father? I was actually shocked. Like, look at the crocodile, bro. Not only did he get destroyed by die, he got destroyed by the dad, he got destroyed by other villains. He's still here. You're telling me they're going to kill off the dad like that? Come on, bro. Nah, but it's definitely getting ridiculous how quickly things can heat up with all these characters being in positions where they never would have imagined they would be in a million years, right? Fighting against the one dude who has honestly, you know, made you live in a living hell, to now be right there face to face with him... It's got to be like too, feel way too real to be true type of deal. And that's the type of stuff I expect from this battle is people to continuously underestimate and put themselves in positions where they shouldn't be. Because as of right now, that's the only way I see uh, Die and their friends winning is by this one way of him offering them a chance to fight without really having any of his minions there to do much else but watch. So, I am curious to see what y'all are talking about. Are you enjoying this? Are you ready for what's coming up next? I feel like this could be the end coming up soon, but at the same time with this uh, animation fighting and uh, the way that these characters come off... I feel like there's still a lot to see uh, with this battle, with characters growing, different stuff like that. So I hope y'all are having an amazing one. I will definitely talk to y'all the next one. So much stuff pops off on Saturday, but I will have a late start going to work. So I'm going to try to get that all out before I have to go to work if I can. So yeah, with that being said, take care and peace.